Hello everybody, I am Grant Scarborough, and I am here to show you guys and gals the gifts I got for the holidays of 2016. I would say Christmas of 2016, but I don't want to violate the First Amendment for all of you, so yeah. And I'm already starting off with this Pokemon reusable metal drink bottle showing all of the evolutions Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon, along with the Ruby Coasters I got. With the first one being shown right here, and I'll give you guys and gals a little montage of these. Anywho, the rest of this video will be divided into different segments to show each of the different types of gifts I have gotten. Starting with... So, you guys are probably wondering why there are wooden blocks here. Here, I'll turn the camera to show you. Like, wooden blocks right here that are in front of the books I'm about to show you that I got for the holiday season of 2016. That's because I don't want to give them all away at once because that'll show because all the spines will be shown if I remove the blocks. So that's why these blocks are here. They're so they'll well they'll block the spines of course. That way they won't be shown and give away the titles of each book automatically. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, we have a Five Nights at... Is that right? Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's book, which is called No Longer Alone. It doesn't show the, the author's name, so... And I apologize for stuttering, this isn't scripted. So let me just see here. Um, Two Sovereigns Publishing, no... Is it back here? Who, who, who wrote this? Well, I, well, anywho, for the, if the author of this is writing, not writing, watching this video, please tell me what your name is down below, down below, in, down below in the description of this video below, because, well, simply put, I need to know, that way I'll give you credit, but anywho, I haven't read this novel yet, this little small novel here yet, even though it looks more like a play script, but anywho, it does look interesting though, so I'll probably read it later on. Now, next up is my favorite gift I got for this entire holiday season of 2016. That being this book. Music, please! Bernie Sanders, Our Revolution, A Future to Believe In. Now, for those who don't know, I am a major left-leaning progressive. I believe in basically cracking down on the big banks and that kind of stuff. Green energy, LBGT rights, and that kind of stuff. And this book makes everything so much better. Actually, scratch that. Let me say that one more time. It makes things even better because, in all honesty, this man is the reason I got into politics. Like, it... This campaign, his campaign taught me a lot of things about how poorly some companies like Disney treat their workers. And I actually lost a lot of respect for Disney afterwards because really Bob Iger and the rest of Disney should be ashamed of themselves for treating the workers at their theme parks so badly. And I even heard about their animators being treated poorly. If so, then they shouldn't be too happy or proud of themselves about that. They should be ashamed, ashamed for that. But Anywho, he also taught it also taught me a lot about like his campaign also taught me a lot about Clinton's corruption, how bad the establishment is on both the Democratic and Republican side. And there are a lot of people I learned about that I have a very good appreciation for now, including Bernie himself, Jill Stein, Keith Ellison, Ajamu Baraka, I think that's how he pronounces his name. If you're watching this, Ajamu Baraka, if that's how I pronounce your name, then please tell me if that's right or not, because I just want to know to make sure. And so many more, Tulsi Gabbard, Nina Turner, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, it really has taught me a lot, and I've read some of this book already at the time this video was uploaded, and so far I've really been enjoying it. 
Next up, we have Treyoris and the Enchanted Crystal by Dan Tedium. Here's his face on the back cover. And so far, I've really enjoyed this graphic novel so far. He's one of my personal favorite YouTubers out there. I'd probably put him in the top 10, maybe not top 5, but probably top 10. He's my favorite Minecraft YouTuber. I've really enjoyed his content, especially his content of like his special modded adventures and that kind of stuff. Though, I think there'll be a playlist to that of Dan Tedium's down below in the description of his modded adventures. I really enjoyed them. They're, they're my favorite of his videos. And I've really enjoyed this graphic novel so far. And yeah. I really enjoyed it. Moving on, we then have this picture puzzle book. Not much to say about here, it's just a simple puzzle book. Next up we have a World War II history magazine. Here we got Blitzkrieg in France, fighting back at Pearl Harbor, and you gotta remember, this year is its 75th anniversary, Hitler's age, no, 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 Ace of Aces, Dogs of War, and so on and so forth. We also have this Nat Geo book, Hidden Earth, which I think is about um, underground monuments and such, or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Here's a back cover of it. Next up, we have one of my other favorite gifts of this holiday season of 2016, the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, if I can get this into the camera right. Official Lola Region Strategy Guide. I've really enjoyed this strategy guide, and it's been a huge help to me so far in the post-game. It's helped me capture the Ultra Beasts. So, yeah, I actually captured them just today at the time I shot this clip of the video. So, yeah. Moving on, we have our final book, which is... Let me get it. Conspiracy Theories. Under... No, no, no. Uncover the Evidence and Decide for Yourself, which talks about all the basic... Well, all, ma all basically, basically all the conspiracy theories that are popular and those kind of things, like Hitler's suicide who really killed JFK and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's the books, that, well, those are the books I got for the holiday season of 2016. to the video games and the DVDs I have gotten for the holiday season of this year. We first have Fire Emblem Fates Conquest for the Nintendo 3DS, as well as Metroid Prime Federation Force for the 3DS. These are two 3DS games I've gotten this year for 2016, and so far I've been enjoying both of them quite a bit. Fun fact, well, I was well aware about all the hate this game, Prime, well, Metroid Prime Federation Force, that it was getting prior to its release, but then everybody was saying, actually, it's, it's pretty decent, that, that kind of stuff, you know? And I, I, I'm well aware of all that, trust me, I am. Speaking of which, I have, I'm not going to show you the two Wii U games I've gotten this year, the first one of which is one that has a very similar story to Federation Force, that being Paper Mario Color Splash. Many, many fans downright hated this prior to its release because many people were saying, Oh, it's a Sticker Star 2, but for the Wii U, yada yada yada. I'm well aware of all the hatred it got before its release as well, but when it was released, just like... Um, just like Federation Force, people are saying, it's, it's okay, actually, it's pretty good. And I guess you can say, I guess this is a classic case of don't, you ju well, don't judge a game by its trailer or what they've been showing you prior to its release and, well, that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Also, I have gotten Minecraft for the Wii U. I know the Wii U is slowly going to die off soon because of how the, well, because of how the Switch is right around the corner, and I'm hoping to get to that for my birthday because it's in March, the same month that the Switch is released. Granted, my birthday's on the 6th and the Switch is released the 17th, but I'm hoping to get that still as a late birthday gift along with some of its launch games like the Switch version of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But still, I wanted to get some more Wii U games just to say, like, a, a nice sweet farewell to the Wii U, it's my, it's my favorite console of all time, even though the Switch will probably take that out, well, it'll probably take 
that title soon after it's released, possibly, but still. I granted I've already ha I already have the mobile version for my iPhone, the PS3 version, and the PC version, but hey, the more the merrier, am I right? Well, not always hyperconsumerism is rather bad for the environment, but I just wanted to I just wanted to say I wanted to give the Wii U a nice farewell and I'm thinking this is a nice way to do it. Now on to the DVDs we first have, let me get them. This college lecture set of DVDs about the great American president. This one, the first disc, has um, George Washington, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Andrew da Andrew Jackson. If I can get to focus properly on the camera, and these are all also hosted by Professor Alan J. Lichman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, these also come with this little book here, which has like all the questions and stuff in it. I think so. Yeah, that's pretty cool as well. We also have part two, which focuses a little bit more on Andrew Jackson than than James K. Polk and Abraham Lincoln and Theodore Roosevelt. Next up, we also have part three with Woodrow Wilson, my favorite, as well as my favorite president of all time, Franklin D. Roosevelt. He's awesome. If you if I can get this to focus in properly. And then his successor, Eric Harry S. Truman. And finally, with disc four, we have JFK, LBJ, and Ronald Reagan, aka John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Ronald Reagan. Let me focus this back in. I wasn't, I wasn't concentrating on putting this near the camera where it can be seen properly. I apologize. But yeah. And finally, we get this. This is World War II, The Complete History. I loved this documentary series when I first saw it on YouTube back in mid-2015. I wanted to get it on DVD because I because piracy's bad and I don't want to support it at all. And I really, really enjoyed the series. And this is like some kind of special edition or something where it comes with some World War II memorabilia, I think. If I can get this open. This isn't an unboxing video or anything, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Ugh. Hold on. Oh, this will not open. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, good news, everybody. I finally got this box open. And first of all, it comes with this certificate of authenticity from uh, Colin... Berrymon or something? I can't read cursive too well. Along with this pouch of memorabilia. And this European Theater of War memorabilia booklet. And, of course, the, the three DVDs. And, and, like, for those who don't know, this was made back in 2000. The series was made back in 2000. Where, and it's basically black and white World War II stock footage where, with it being voiced over by a narrator and it's having a lot of, well, dark, dreary World War II-esque music. But I'm telling you, it's an amazing series and I highly, highly recommend it. So, yeah, those are the video games and DVDs I got in for this holiday season of 2016. When it comes to the plushies I got for 2016, this holiday season anyways, well, there's really only one. You might fit a dispenser. This dispenser. And I really love this gift. This is another one of my favorites. I'm really hoping to use this in the Webkin show someday. Perhaps for like a TF2 themed episode, which I'm really hoping to do perhaps this summer. In the summer of 2017, actually. But still, I would like to give a little bonus, though, to these. These are basically basically Discovery Kids snowballs. I'm planning to also use these in a future episode of the Webkin show. Which, as it says right here, where is it? Um... Feels just like feels just like real snow. Granted, you can't feel this on the screen, but if you could, it feels just like regular snow, except a lot warmer. 
even though this one's a little bit dirty right here. But still, those are the basically the plushies, I guess, that I got for the holiday season of 2016. <laughs> Moving on to the electronic devices that I've gotten for the holiday season of 2016. We first have these color buds, which is basically a pair of earbuds that comes with its own lips hole mic, and the packaging this is already technically open. I don't know if that was poor factory manufacturing or whatever, but yeah. And I also got this pair of earbuds without a mic, I think, that is tangle free. That is made by these guys called Cord. We also have these little toy laser guns that I unfortunately broke soon after I got them, but I am still planning to use them in the webkin show, probably with the help of, say, like a, some special effects, I believe, via special effects software and such. Next up, we have this giant um, green energy thing that basically allows you to make green energy from mud. Yes. Green energy, or clean energy as the box says it, from mud, which basically says right here, build a living fuel cell with electric microbes in mud. Yeah, it. my mother said it got really good reviews, so I'll probably open it up and such, but I will not deny, this is really strange. In a good way, though, I suppose. Next up, we have... This giant, this, well, not giant, but this solar charger, which is basically designed to power up your devices via solar electricity, which I think is very good indeed. And it's on perfect condition, the packaging isn't, but I'm still planning to use this nevertheless for my phone in 3DS and such. So, yeah, awesome. And finally, we have. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh wait, no, no, there's still one more thing. I also got this $100 Steam gift card, gift card that I have already used up most of the money for on two games, those being Civil Civilization VI and the remake to the first Hyper Dimension Neptunia game. So, yeah. Moving on. Oh, and I also forgot that I have gotten this for the holiday season of 2016, which is basically a flashlight club hybrid, which I guess is pretty cool indeed. I'll probably use this in a future Webkin show episode. And this little drone ball thing, which I think you just turn on this little button here, it lights up, and then you bounce it on your hand like so. See? That's damn right well, embarrassing. I'm going to need to use a more open space to do it, but yeah, I'll probably save that for a later video. I'm just going to turn this off now. There we go. For the clothing that I have gotten for the holiday season of 2016, we first have some official Webkin's clothing, those being this tuxedo outfit with a top hat, an army shirt that is now retired, and some camo cargo pants. I'm pretty sure you can see where I'm going with it when it comes to these two. I'm probably going to make some kind of war-based episode, or military-based episode, I believe, that shows why we need to stop all the constant wars, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, that's that. We also have some emoji wear, such as these emoji earmuffs. We also have these, um, touchscreen gloves. We got some emoji emoji gloves, which I don't think are touchscreen. And finally, for hats, we got this emoji beanie. 
and this other yellow hat that has like a sort of yarn rope pad turn, I believe. And before you ask, no, I am not going to watch the Emoji Movie when it comes out. I've already heard about how bad it is and so on and so forth. So, yeah, moving on. When it comes to the crafting materials that I have gotten for 2016, it's just all these fabrics here and this little sewing kit. My sister actually has an old one downstairs, but I decided that I should have my own or something like that. As you see here, I actually used to have my own sewing stuff, but I lost it and I couldn't find it, so yeah. This is basically just to make even more clothes for the Webkins in the Webkin show because I really want to do this in order to make like, I don't know, scientific lab coats and more suits and tuxedos and that stuff with the black fabric and white fabric, make perhaps like a tie and take that official Webkin's tuxedo outfit and make it into like a politician's outfit, which I think would be nice, and so on and so forth. So yeah, moving on once again. Finally, we basically have just, well, the rest of the gifts that I have gotten that I really wouldn't put into any other category, but this last one for basically, well, everything else. So, starting off, we have two Christmas ornaments, the first one being, if I can get off this mini Christmas tree here, this Bernie Sanders ornament, which is basically a metallic snowflake with with an awesome quote from him being, I can just get close enough to the camera if it focuses, I have spent the better part of my life of, no, let me try it again, I have spent the better part of my adult life fighting for working families, Bernie 2016, and I supported him in during the primaries and Jill Stein during the general, I am a progressive and I am proud of it. So yeah, Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein, they're all awesome. So let me just put this back here. The other ornament I have gotten is this Yeti ornament. Not much else to say here. I'll just do a 360 of it. Next up, we have this Star Wars dart board because basically with the exception of Star Wars, the rest of Disney I've been trying to avoid due to basically their poor labor policies and all that, anti-union practices. It's because I, I'm, I don't hate Disney, I just lost a lot of respect for them because of all the bad things that they've done recently. So yeah, but this is basically a metallic dartboard, super 3D as it says. And it's basically Force Awakens themed, as you can see. You got Captain Phasma, I think it's how you pronounce his or her name. You got Kylo Ren right there, and the First Order Stormtroopers. We also have these little cases, which is which are basically for earbuds. I'll open each each one of them. Open each one of them and show you. Just a little pouch here, a little net pouch. And there, it's the same here, I believe. And here, I believe as well, it's the same. Yep. We also got these little rainbow Mickey. Well, not well. Rainbow twenty-five. No, no, no. One hundred twenty-five mini scratch art notes. Like I said, this is unscripted. And so on, so forth. Phone, seriously, be quiet. And I also have this little magnet, which says, which is basically a little magnet book, showing you a bunch of pro green eco-friendly tips and such to help your house become more green and so on and so forth, which I'll probably put in my fridge after I record this. We got some candy, ring pops, and um, sweet tarts, giant and chewy. We got this this cool ooze, which is which I'm probably going to use in a future episode of the Webkin Show as part of one of Sniffer's experiments, probably. 
this this history 2017 day by day calendar. I already got one here, which on the day that this clip was recorded, Woodrow Wilson was born back in 1856. And it's basically a repeat of that whole calendar, but I'm pretty sure different events covered and so on and so forth. So, yep, that's that. We also got these little fun ornaments that really hatch. I think just put them in water, I believe, and they hatch. I, I believe so. Does it say in here? Yeah, the instructions say you put them in water and so on and so forth. And finally, we got what could arguably be the weirdest gift of all. This. It's basically a bar of soap with money inside of it. I am not joking. Basically, basically use the soap until the money comes out. And it says here, 1, 5, 10, 20, or even a $50 bill. Now, I actually find this a little bit ironic. I don't hate this gift or anything. But what I find really ironic about this is that, like, if you were, once you, like, you're probably, you would probably get, like, the money out while you're taking a shower, wouldn't the dollar bill get wet? That's just a question I'm saying, but this dollar bill looks actually really fake, so I'm guessing this fake bill, this fake dollar bill is just a cover for the real one, I think? So that's probably what it is. But, yeah, that's that. So, those are the Christmas gifts, or holiday 2016 gifts I have gotten. Or at least in the majority of them. So, yeah. So I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, favorites, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. For more videos. And I want to actually make this li a little quick update for what I'll be doing in 2017. I'll be continuing to make Webkin show, Webkin's show episodes. Future episodes of the Webkin show, of course. I'll probably try to get one out at least one every... At minimum, I'll probably try to get at least one out every say one or two months and at maximum I think I can get I think I can get like two out a month depends on how much schoolwork I get and such but yeah and I'm also probably gonna make more YouTube poops and I'll probably do another one of these Christmas gifts well holiday season gifts videos as usual and I'm sorry if I'm talking a little strange, there's this rubber band in my braces in my mouth that's designed to help my teeth get even more straight and such. That's why I'm probably talking a bit weird, if it sounds like that. <clears throat> I've been drinking a lot of water to try and avoid that problem, which I'm drinking out of this bottle right now. If you saw it earlier in the video, you'll know what it is. Hold on. That's better. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll do a face reveal or whatever. I think I'll save that for a subscribers special. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. I am Grant Scarborough, the Orator Bird, and I will see you guys all later. Goodbye, everybody. Happy holidays. And, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.